Hey, I'm Dan Knoll. I'm the Black Diamond Lighting Designer, and I'm really excited today to talk to you guys about our new line of headlamps. I'm gonna walk through the features on the Spot 325, but we have a wide range of headlamps designed for a variety of activities with a range of lumens, feature sets, waterproof ratings, and burn times. When you take your headlamp out of the box, open the battery compartment, install the included batteries according to the plus and minus indicators, and close the door. To turn on, press the main switch on the top of the headlamp once. Located on the side of the lamp is our six setting, three LED battery meter, which indicates the level of battery life remaining. You can brighten and dim the light by holding down the top button. Let go when the desired brightness is reached. If you want maximum brightness at any point, you can just tap the side of your headlamp to engage power tap. Every lamp has brightness memory. When you turn your lamp off and back on, it will remember and turn on at your last lumen setting. To easily switch between your multiple lens options, we've now added a secondary mode selector switch. In order to use the strobe option, double click the main switch. Any lens will strobe. To turn off, press the main switch on the top of the headlamp once. Check your battery meter regularly to get an accurate battery life reading. To lock your headlamp, while it's off, hold down both switches for approximately three seconds. A flashing light indicates it's locked. To unlock, hold down for approximately three seconds again. Go to blackdiamondequipment.com for the most up-to-date line overview of your headlamp's features, waterproof ratings, battery life, and burn times. Hi everybody, welcome to the Headlamp 200 instructional video. In this guide, we're gonna cover the following. Overview, lighting modes, fit adjustment, recharging, cleaning, and then set up for the optional light diffusing stuff sack. Let's get started. The Headlamp 200 is comprised of the following components. An articulating front LED panel featuring a 200 lumen spotlight and red flood light, a single power button to access lighting modes and control brightness, the adjustable moisture wicking headband, and a micro USB rechargeable battery located on the side of the front panel. On the back of Headlamp 200's front panel, you'll find your serial number. Use this to register your headlamp on the BioLite warranty page. When unboxing your Headlamp 200 for the first time, it'll come programmed in lock mode. So you might press it, it'll flash twice, and then turn off. That's on purpose, that's to preserve the battery. We'll get you out of that right now. Press and hold the power button for eight seconds. The spotlight will flash white one time and you can now access all modes. The lighting modes rotate through the following sequence. Red flood, white spot, red strobe, white strobe, and off. To access your desired mode, click the power button in half second increments until you reach your setting. Here it is in real time so you can get the rhythm. One, two, three, four, off. One more time. One, two, three, four, off. If you wait too long in between clicks, your Headlamp 200 may turn off. No problem. Just click it back on and press to your desired mode. Your headlamp comes programmed with memory, meaning it will turn on to its last remembered setting. The memory setting will last for 12 hours before returning to the default setting. When in white spot or red flood, you can dim the headlamp by pressing and holding. When it blinks, it's as low as it can go. To brighten, press and hold again. It'll blink at its brightest setting. The unit also has a lock mode feature that you can use to prevent your headlamp 200 from accidentally turning on in your pack or while in transit. To enter lock mode, press and hold the power button for eight seconds while the headlamp is off. The headlamp will flash twice in white. This means you've successfully locked your unit. Now, if there are any accidental presses, it'll only flash, no battery wasted. To exit lock mode, press and hold again for eight seconds. It will flash once in white, and your headlamp is now unlocked and ready to access all light settings. The Headlamp 200 fits kids and adults alike thanks to the Easy Adjust Band. For a comfortable and high performance fit, place the headlamp on your head, and then you're gonna use the two adjustment clips in unison. To tighten the band, pull the clips away from the back of your head. To loosen the band, push the clips toward the back of your head. 
It's important to use the clips in unison to keep your headband balanced, so try to avoid just pulling on one side. To adjust the direction of your light, you can move the LED panel up and down easily with one hand. Using the traction from the rubber power button, guide the front panel downward. To adjust back up, push gently on the front of your panel. The rechargeable headlamp has run times of up to three hours on max brightness and 40 hours on low. After you turn your headlamp 200 off, the floodlight will flash. That will give you feedback on how much juice is left in your battery. Two green blinks, it's more than 50% full. Two red blinks, it's less than 50% full. Four red blinks, your headlamp 200 is out of juice and needs to be recharged. To recharge your unit, tilt the front panel down and connect via the micro USB port located on the side. You can charge from USB power sources at home or on the go. To confirm the unit is charging, the floodlight will slowly pulse green. When your headlamp is fully charged, that green light will shut off and disengage charging. The moisture wicking smart fabric keeps you cool and dry during activity and features three bonded layers that protect your electronics from any sweat. You can sponge clean the inside of your band using warm water and mild soap or detergent, but don't dunk it or run it under a pouring faucet. If you have the light diffusing stuff sack, which is sold separately, you can easily turn your headlamp 200 into a hangable lantern. Fold your headlamp so the band collapses into a half circle. With the LED panel facing down, feed one side of the band through the inner loop located inside of the stuff sack, and then do the same thing with the other side. This suspends your headlamp in the middle of the sack for an even glow. Turn the unit on, give it a cinch, and it's ready to hang as a lantern. Easy rechargeability and a perfect fit. That's the Headlamp 200. If you're looking for a versatile and lightweight headlamp, you'll love the Nikkor NU25. This triple light source rechargeable headlamp features a primary white output with secondary high CRI and red LEDs, giving you plenty of options for every task. And at only 0.99 ounces in weight, this mini headlamp maximizes comfort so you can wear for hours on end while you hike, bike, and explore in the dark. Featuring a Cree XP G2 S3 LED, the primary output offers four selectable brightness levels up to 360 lumens with a max throw of 88 yards. This output is great for general lighting while working and playing. A secondary high CRI LED offers 20 lumens of warm, sunlight-like light which illuminates colors more accurately than cool white LEDs and reduces eye fatigue. So it's a great choice for up close reading and photography. Also, for times when you need to preserve night vision, there's a red LED which offers a low and high setting of 0.9 lumens and 13 lumens respectively. You can use this setting while searching through your bag in the dark, map reading, stargazing, and any other time where bright lights would disrupt your vision. Two control buttons located on the top of the unit control the NU25. Tap the power button on the right to turn on the headlamp to the lowest setting. Press any button after three seconds of inactivity and the light will turn off. Or if you need to turn the light off immediately, press and hold the R button. You can cycle through the low, mid, high, and off output by tapping the power switch within three seconds of turning on the primary output. To access turbo, Press and hold the power switch for one second while the light is on. To access the secondary high CRI LED, press and hold the power button for one second. You can then wait three seconds and tap any button to turn the light off, or press and hold the R button to turn it off immediately. Red outputs are controlled via the R button located on the left side of the unit. Tap the R button to turn the red light on to low mode. Tap again within three seconds to cycle the high red output red caution, and off. To turn off the red output, press any switch after three seconds of inactivity or press and hold the R switch to turn it off immediately. If you're traveling and want to keep the NU25 from activating in your pack, you can set it to lockup mode by pressing and holding both buttons simultaneously until a red indicator flashes underneath the buttons. To turn off lockout mode, press and hold the buttons again until the light turns on to low. For emergencies, the NU25 also has two special modes accessible by pressing and holding the main power button for 3 seconds in any state except for lockout. The NU25 will initially enter SOS mode. To switch to beacon, tap the power button again within 3 seconds. 
To exit special mode, wait 3 seconds and press any switch to turn the light off. As you can see, there's a lot of different tasks this headlamp is suited for. Here's a look at the beam profiles to give you a better view of everything the NU25 has to offer. The NU25 is equipped with a built-in 610mAh lithium ion battery, which can be charged via the micro USB port located on the bottom of the lamp. With the included charging cable, the NU25 can quickly and easily be charged using any available USB power source. A red light will illuminate under the power buttons while charging and turn green upon completion. Out of the packaging, the NU25 comes with a headlamp, an adjustable headband, USB charging cable, instruction manual, and warranty card. Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over the Phoenix HM50R, brand new micro USB rechargeable headlamp from Phoenix. Uh, it does have four different output modes. Uh, you do have the low mode of 4 lumens, the medium of 30 lumens, the high of 130, and then the turbo of 500. Uh, to operate, you simply will do a full press for about a half a second and turn the light on. And then just simply click the switch to change the modes and then to turn it off, it will just hold it off again. To check the battery status, you just click that button. If it has a blue light on, that means you're a little bit low. If it's green, that means you're on the good side. It is micro USB rechargeable and it does include a battery. So come check out yours today.